Hi right, guys. Today I'll be reviewing the Angie 800 watt Cobb series full spectrum light. Um, quick facts on this. I don't really give you a lot. I just give you a lot of random miscellaneous stuff with almost no information to actually back any of it up. Um, right out of the gate, I was always leery of reviewing this Angie because that's so non good review or so little faith in Angie from the first light of theirs I reviewed. Um I have a feeling without well, this will be the first time I've turned it on, I have a feeling that this light will keep up with that. Uh little faith in this light, honestly. Qual build quality seems to be very minimal. I'll be able to flip it over here real quick. And you can see how this cob is just completely off center and 20 maybe 30 percent of it's actually underneath the reflector and then this one's really close to being to the reflector none of these are centered that one right there is the closest to being center um don't know how that's going to affect the actual quality of the light I'm expecting the results to be pretty bad anyway, so we'll find out, but a lot of people have been saying this is a good light. Maybe. I don't know how it is, but we will find out, uh, at least based off the numbers, if it should be a good light. Um, they claim it's to be 17 inches by 10 inches. That's way off. It's 13 and a quarter by 13 and a quarter. I uh, don't know who does their math or measuring or um, puts stuff on Amazon, but they obviously can't read. Um, they can't measure. Doesn't give a watt, I mean a par 18 inches. Um, without having a spectrometer, I can't actually verify this spectrum, but it claims to be full spectrum. And then it shows a picture of a really awesome spectrum on Amazon, which... Is probably not anything to do with this light. It's probably somebody else's spectrum. They just pulled a graph off the line and used it as theirs. Because I highly doubt this light has the spectrum that it claims. Um, if I ever start making some money off of these videos, which that's not my main goal, but if I ever do, that money's going to go towards a spectrometer so I can actually see what spectrum these lights do. Um, 210 watts at the wall, so let's go ahead and verify that it's 18 inches, right there at 18, uh, let's go ahead and turn it on, very red heavy out of the gate, I mean this is the first time I'm turning it on, this is supposed to be full spectrum, it's super heavy on the red, at least light appearance it's super heavy on the red um kind of bright loud the fans are pretty loud you can probably hear them pretty easily um go ahead and check the watt draw you can see the red off the wall here it's so heavy on the red uh 223 so that's 13 watts over what they claim. So this better put out some amazing par for 223 uh, watts. Um, amazing par, an amazing footprint. But well, honestly, I doubt it has either. Okay. So let's go ahead and get to it. U97. See if we can get any higher. Yeah, it looks like two. 297 is going to be the highest, which is which is just awful. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. That's that's just awful. 
Um, this fans are super loud. Just really awful for 200. I mean, that's that's drawing. I mean, this is honestly almost comparable to high pressure sodium and the watts that draws for how little um, par that it gets. Let's go to the corners here in the one by one. 165. 167. One eighty eight, hundred and seventy five. I mean, that's not terrible, but so let's go to the two by two, forty seven, forty five, fifty one. It fell over. I don't even need to do it. I mean, I'll go ahead and turn it back over and do it. But honestly, I'm not. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. Fifty-one. Um. Yeah, this this light sucks. <laughs> there's there's no way around about it. It's huge, loud, draws a ton of watts. Cobs are misplaced. Uh, they don't know how to measure the size of the light. Um, yeah, probably one of the worst lights I've ever reviewed. Um, I generally try to keep the lights that I buy um, just in case I need to do more reviews on them and stuff like that and tear them apart. Honestly, this light's probably not even worth messing with. I have the gas it probably has four of these 45 watt um, LED drivers in there and then probably two of these maybe three of these fan drivers this is from their other Angie light that I reviewed which is garbage and this light follows in the same thing um, the people that have said this light is good, I don't, I don't understand why. I mean, it's cheap at $109 or $119, but, I mean, and it, it's crazy loud. It doesn't put off a ton of heat, but, honestly, if I'm a person trying to grow, I would just use a high-pressure sodium before I would use this light. I mean, very, very unimpressive. Um, would not recommend this light in any way, shape, or form. It's just not a good light at all. Um, if you guys have watched my light, I mean my uh, Vipar Spectre light before, I ended up getting uh, the comparison to the Mihizi and the two, and the one foot by one foot, the Mihizi is slightly out does it in some of the corners and um, in the back half of the bipart spectre actually out does it but quick notes on that um, 238 in the front left 212 in the front right 302 in the front left and the back left and 279 in the back right for the bipart spectra and then one by one and the mahizi 300 get to it real quick. Then 245 in each corner on the front. Front left, front right, 245. 265 and 280 in the other back two corners. The first number being the back left. Um, so, and then it had 672 par in the center and in the bipar spectra it had 510. So, Honestly, my so far, like in one of these days, I'm going to make the best lights that I reviewed video. And then we'll break it down into categories and we'll do like a, you know, best 300 watt light. Or 300 watt replacement light. And uh, so far that Mahizi is just, is leading the way. That Bipar Spectre is not far behind it though. I was actually pretty impressed with that light. But in conclusion, that was off topic. This light sucks. 
Um, for the people who want to buy it, say it's good. That's great. Uh, you're wasting your money using it. You're wasting money at the wall. You're wasting your time. This light is horrible. Um, all right. Till the uh, till the next video. As always, like and subscribe. See ya.